Um, I think I'd die if that happened. So the entire town can hear you, you idiot. Just give them to me and put it on my account. <coughs> About <coughs> your account? It's been a few months. I said to put it on my account, and that's the end of it, understand? Want to buy anything, or just laugh at our misfortune? Don't be ridiculous. Who would run this place? You ask around the wretching Netch. Someone there might be crazy enough, or drunk enough, to do it. Okay. If you need any supplies, Don't you know where to send it to your husband. Can't get blood from a stone. Sidious would barely make ends meet. That isn't my problem. I was clear when I loaned Garwin the money that I wanted to get back. The best swordsman in all Morrowind is at your service. Welcome to the wretching. Right uh, you mean leave Raven Rock for good? To go work for a crazed Telvanni wizard? Sure. Just let me get me things. On second thought, never mind. I can get new stuff. Well, I've never been one to pass up an opportunity. Sorry to run, but I'm off to my new job. D did we do it? Uh, okay. Well, 
I'll just hang around here for a while. As the wife to the second counselor of Ravenrock, it would be my pleasure to help you any way that I can. Well, welcome to the retching nets, Outlander. Here's a bit more. Hope you're not drinking this stuff yourself. There's actually a funny story behind the name, friend. A few years ago, I was walking down by the docks, and I noticed a Dunma staggering along with a bottle of Sujama in hand. He was one of my patrons, and liked to drink heavily, so I wasn't exactly surprised. Ah, but you see, this particular Dunma was as naked as the day he was born, and singing badly at the top of his lungs. As I'm watching this spectacle, a Netch floats over the bulwark towards him. The man looks straight up at Fenech, yells, Have a drink! and tosses the bottle. And it never hit the ground. Well, the bottle broke on Fenech, and it must have swallowed its contents because it started floating sort of tilted. Finally, it stopped and began to quiver. Yeah. A few moments later, the foulest liquid to ever assail your nostrils spewed from its maw. I've seen plenty of drunks in me day, and I'll tell you right now, that netch was sick. True story, friend. True story. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Safe travels, Outlander. <laughs> <laughs> 